In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of the Lord be with you all. Good morning, everybody. We call to mind our sins as we seek the Lord's pardon. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you would proceed for us with your Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, whose Son humbled himself and took the form of a slave to redeem the human race from being captive to sin, grant to your servants held in confinement that they may obtain the freedom you destined to all. For we are your sons and daughters, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, what more shall I say? I have not time to tell of David, Barak, Samson, Bethel, of David, the Samuel, and the prophets, who by faith conquered kingdoms, did what was righteous, obtained the promises, were clothed in mouths of wine, put out raging fire, escaped the death of the sword. Out of weakness they committed powerful became strong in battle, and turned back blind in days. Men who would see back the dead through resurrection. Some were tortured and would not accept the evidence in order to obtain a better resurrection. Mothers endured mockery, scourging, beaten chains, and imprisonment. They were stoned, saw and two put to death at sword's point. They went to bed out in the skin of sheep or goats, needy, afflicted, tormented. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered about in deserts and on mountains, in caves and in crevices in the earth. Yet all these, Though approved because of their faith, did not receive what had been promised. God had foreseen something better for us, so that without us they should not be made perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your hearts take comfort, all who love in the Lord. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you. And for those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. That your hearts take comfort all the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of the presence from the Father of men. You scream them within your abode from the strife of sin. Let your heart see comfort all the Lord's Blessed be the Lord, whose wondrous mercy he has shown to you in the fortified city. Let your heart see comfort all the Lord's Once I said in my anguish, I am cut off from your son. Yet you heard the sound of my pleading when I cried out to you. Let your heart speak my word, all the Lord of the Lord. Love the Lord, O 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. In those days, Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the territory of the Gerasenes. When he got out of the boat, at once a man from the tombs, who had an unclean spirit, met him. The man had been dwelling among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer, even with a chain. In fact, he had frequently been bound with shackles and chains, but the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles smashed, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day, among the tombs and on the hillsides, he was always crying out and bruising himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up and prostrated himself before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adore you, my God. Do not torment me. He had been saying to him, Unclean spirit, come out of the man. He asked him, What is your name? He replied, Legion is my name, there are many of us. And he pleaded earnestly with him not to drive them away from that territory. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside, and they pleaded with him, Send us into the swine, let us enter them. And he let them, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine. The herd of about 2,000 rushed down a steep bank into the sea where they were drowned. The swine herds ran away and reported the incident in the town and throughout the countryside. And people came out to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught sight of a man who had been possessed by a legion, sitting there, clothed, and in his right mind. And they were seized with fear. Those who witnessed the incident explained to them what had happened to the possessed man and to the swine. Then they began to beg him to leave their district. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with him. But Jesus would not permit him, but told him instead, Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity had done for you. The man went off and began to proclaim in the Decapolis what Jesus had done for him. And all were amazed. <coughs> the Gospel of the Lord. Is no longer a feared outcast. 
outcast dwelling among the tombs. Jesus tells him to share with his family what the Lord has done for him. The man is so overjoyed that he cannot help but proclaim it throughout the Decapolis. The Decapolis is one of the ten cities in the eastern frontier of the Roman Empire. It has been said, life is a series of thousands of tiny miracles. Notice that. The fact that the man was returned to his right mind and was restored to his family are certainly the greatest blessings in our gospel reading today. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer you. Prove to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Release. 
from captivity and rejoice in lasting freedom of soul through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty of salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word for whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gave for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, O angels and saints, we praise you forever. Holy, holy, holy Lord of our hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of the Christ, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Christ. O Lord, who art indeed holy, you are the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, as sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. He gave it to his friends and said, Take this all you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the word of the Lord and profess the Lord's resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, your people spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, the martyrs, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pray the words that Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith and courage of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us all one another the sign.
Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you.